All right, it's Monday the 26th of June. We're back at Farmer Britain's Best Lawn. What we're doing today is, well, I'm a bit concerned that because we've been mowing in the same direction that way a lot, the grass is actually starting to grow that way. So what I want to do today is I want to stop that in its tracks and brush it back the other way by cutting and then vertical it, and then we can put it back how it was and we're going to stop it growing vertically on the floor because what's going to happen is in time the mower will just stop cutting it because it just grows flat along the floor so we don't want that so what we'll do is we'll get the kit out and then we'll show you what we're going to do all right so the first job we're going to do is we're going to cut with the rotary on number three but instead of cutting with the stripe we're going to cut against it all the way along so our grasses stand up on end All right, so that's done. Can be honest with you, the grass doesn't really like it. It takes the shine off it a little bit, but it's for the best going forward. It'll soon recover. Don't do it when it's wet, because that really does upset it, and it takes a while to come back, because the tips tend to go a bit funny when you do it in the wet. So it's nice and dry today, so we've got it done. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna vertical it uh, at a 45 degree angle, because we want to create some stripes that way, so we can do our fancy stripes later on in the week. So let's get to it. Okay, we've got the verticutting cartridge in. Just got to get my battery off charge. Now, luckily in this garden, we have a 45 degree angle on the decking. So I use that as my guide to start us off. So I'll use that and we'll get going. I'll just show you what we've got out all that just out of the vertical in so better out than in so now all the grasses are all up facing upwards apart from that way obviously we've just vertical but what we have done is we've got rid of the old stripe so now we can burn in a new one so I think because it's Wimbledon starting on Monday next week I think we'll pay homage to Wimbledon for a couple of weeks and we will install some single stripes going that way. So let's get that done, looking forward to it. So what we'll do is before we start, we'll just check that the blade's cutting right. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, so all ready to go. Remember to raise your height of your dial just so you don't go straight on with the blade after vertical cutting because you're just going to scalp it. So I'm at 25 mil, so let's go. Okay, that's this video done. Just a short one. So you can see now oh, we've taken a double stripe, erased it and put in a nice single stripe ready for Wimbledon. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give us a like and a subscribe. And you can see other videos from past and present here, here, here and here. And we'll see you next time when we'll be doing something else lawn related here on Daniel Hibbert Lawn Expert. Bye for now. I know the lines are a little wonky. When I did the vertical diagonally, it's created a nap line. And as I'm going over, the lines which are going like that, the mower is trying to follow that way and then it's pulling me back that way. And because it's so many of the lines, what it's doing is it's making the mower go like that. When it's like quadruple stripes, you've got more of a chance to see it coming. But on single stripes, it's harder to do, trust me. So that's why the one kit, it's nothing to do with my eyes or been drinking or anything like that. So I'm exonerated. <laughs>